welcome to another video. Today I have a haul for you from Shein. It's my very first haul with Shein, so let's get started. So as I said in my intro, I guess it was an intro, right? <laughs> this is my first order with uh, Shein. I hope that's how you say it. I'm not 100% sure. So um, like I said, this is my very first haul with them. I ended up finding them through a YouTube video and I thought, well, I would go ahead and try them. Like I said, I'm not familiar with the brand. Um, so <laughs> I just found items that I really like. So I'm going to start with two items that are actually accessories. Um, I did buy some clothing and I got a little, well, not a little bit of everything, but I got some stuff. You'll see. Um, the first thing I got were these earrings and they are described as four pairs of dinosaur dinosaur <laughs> shaped studs and I'll go ahead and show them to you I just thought these are so cute they have that like um, acrylic is that the word I'm looking for the acrylic like plastic and then they have like the um, specks of like glitter I guess or foil not really sure how to describe those but um, I just love those. I thought they would look really cute in my uh, second haul um, and first haul. It didn't matter. I think they'll look really cute <laughs> with whatever. Um, you have a Triceratops, looks like a T-Rex, a Stegosaurus and a Brontosaurus, I think. <laughs> I am definitely not a paleontologist or a dinosaur expert. Is it paleontologist? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but I just thought those were really, really cute. I follow this dinosaur comic on Instagram and it really reminded me <laughs> of them and so that's why I got them. Four pairs of earrings for $2. That's how much they cost. They were $2 and then with that coupon that I had, I spent $1.83. So essentially four pairs of earrings for $1.83 and you know what? Um, I don't even care that they're like cheap earrings. <laughs> um, I don't know if you have ever heard the trick of, uh, you know, if you have earrings that are like hurting your ears or if you're very sensitive to like nickel or other things, other components of jewelry, you can uh, paint like clear nail polish is kind of like a protective film over the top of the, or over the post. And that's always worked for me because uh, I do have very sensitive um, skin and, and my earring uh, earrings especially bother me and so I always like put that really thin coat of uh, just clear nail polish on them and that's always worked for me I will say one thing I do like about these earrings a lot is that they have really long post now sometimes that can be annoying but if you have like a thicker earlobe you can appreciate if you have a little bit more room you can get a nice good fit with your earring I will say one thing I don't like about these particular earrings, and it's not so much a criticism, it's just I was surprised. Um, if you look at the back, they're all those like clear backs, and not the clear like hard backs, but the clear kind of like squishy back, and again, I'm not going to be able to describe it, but um, they're just clear. Now again, I don't, I don't really know how I feel about that. Um, I've never had just that type of back on a stud earring before, but for a dollar thirty or sorry, dollar eighty-three, I'm I'm not really gonna complain. I got one more pair of earrings, and these are kind of loud. These are called the Floral Decor Drop Earrings, and I don't know. I just saw these and I thought they were really cute. They have a lot of movement. I'll try to show you there. Um, again, not super expensive. This isn't fine jewelry. This is definitely like fashion jewelry. Um, but I just really like those. I like the little white flowers and I like the the, the movement that they had. These were priced at a dollar and again with that coupon I ended up paying 92 cents for them. They also came with um, those clear backs. Uh, again, sorry you can't see them. Those clear kind of earring backs. Um, again, not such a big problem. I tend to change my earring backs. Ear, you know they're kind of ear not what's the word they're kind of interchangeable that's what I'm looking for so not super um, concerned about that um, I will be of course painting these with a thin coat of uh, nail polish just to protect my ears but 
Again, for 92 cents, couldn't beat them. All right, now up for the clothing items that I got. As I said, this is my first ever time shopping with Shein. I did find a few items that I really liked and got some sort of outfit inspiration um, from those items. And so I'm looking forward to sharing with uh, you those things, um, those uh, outfits, I should say, um, in later videos. But for today, we got, we got the haul. I gotta show you what I got. So the first thing I got oops, is this top. Now it's called, again, it's, it's very descriptive. Plus Geo Floral Print V-neck Blouse. <laughs> Says a mouthful, doesn't it? Um, and it's just this sort of blouse. It's almost like a rectangle, if you kind of know what I'm talking about here. Um, it's gonna be hard to show you. Um, I liked it because it had all these varying patterns. And it is, uh, I just got it out of the package, so it is a bit um, wrinkly. But I just liked all this sort of juxtaposition of all these different patterns in these different colors. I would say the pro the predominant color in this shirt is going to be orange. But you have sort of different shades of orange. You have like darker orange, sort of a medium tone orange, and then kind of like a lighter tone orange. Again, I'm probably not describing those <laughs> very well. But then you also have tones of brown. And I just really like that. Um, I like those colors. And to me, some of the tones of brown almost have a green shade to them. And I think green and orange go really well together. Um, I could be just wrong about that. That could just be my opinion, but um, I really liked it. And thought I had a lot of outfits that I could style with this, um, this particular top. Now I will say it is like 100% polyester. There's no stretch, <laughs> give, anything like that. So I was very mindful while I was shopping on the site to look at like the size charts and the composition of you know whatever the garment was. Like I said, this one was 100% polyester. And I want to say they have like, um, I don't know how you describe it, but like, the only way I can describe it or I've heard it described is like Asian sizing and so the sizes tend to be a lot larger than what you would have in let's say the United States or in Europe for example. Um, the label is Shein Curve. That's this section on the website that I actually shopped and it says this is a 4X. The 4X I believe is like a 20, 18, 20. You can correct me if I'm wrong if you're familiar with their sizing. Um, it could be a 2022. I'm not 100% sure how high up their sizing goes. I think the largest size on the website I saw was a 5X. So if that was the case, that would probably be like a 24, 26. So again, I would be super mindful of the size charts and then the materials that the shirts are made or the clothing is made out of because that's going to give you a little bit better guide when you're actually shopping. Um, I will say for me, the cut of this and the, you know, like the way it falls, it is baggy on me. Um, it's not like falling off of me. And so I think that's a good thing. Um, that's kind of how I like my clothes. And so this fit me really well. And it uh, landed sort of just at, uh, I say just below my hip. So it was really, it was long enough for me which is a good thing. Speaking of tops that kind of hit me a little out of my comfort zone, <laughs> I'll say that, um, is this one. This is described as, let's see, Shein plus butterfly sleeve floral top. And it's this really pretty floral pattern on this, um, like a navy blue background. I think that's probably the best way to describe it. These are the sort of butterfly sleeves that they were talking about. Um, I tried this on and it was like super flattering on the arms and so I was really happy about that. Now, I don't know if you can tell, it is pretty sheer so I will obviously wear something under this but I thought it would be really nice for the summertime and for, you know, life in general. <laughs> um, but I really liked this. I really liked the pattern. I really liked the colors in the florals. These are some... Um, colors that I kind of 
gravitate to gravitate towards if you saw what I was wearing today you could probably tell why um it has this little keyhole uh, um, little back here um, that's good especially like if you have a big head like me you got to get it over your head um, the one thing I will say that I don't like about this top is that it is a bit short um, it falls it falls right at my natural waist which is like right at my belly button ideally for me I would like it to go a little bit longer but I think styled um, you know styled right it'll be fine but like I said that's just that's just me um, it is also a 4x sheet in curve um, so they're they're exactly the same size and they fit this one is a, a tad more fitted but I think that's just again the cut whereas the the blouse is supposed to be a little bit more blousey and, and loose and so that's why it's a little bit more loose but again I would always check the size chart um, especially like if you're new to a store Definitely, definitely do that. And of course, I realized I went through all of that and forgot to tell you how much the tops were. That first top, the Geo Floral Print V-neck, whatever it was called, was $6.41 on sale. It was normally priced at $9. And then the um, Butterfly Sleeve Floral Top, yeah, that's what it was called. It was also $6.41 and it was normally priced at $7. Last but certainly not least, I got two different skirts. I had this moment, I was inspired by some flowy skirts that I saw in a print ad, and I want to try to recreate that in an outfit, and so I needed some floral skirts to kind of go with that. Flowy, not floral, whatever I said. <laughs> the first one I got is this, um, sort of black and white polka dotted one. If you can see, it's kind of got, um, it's an elastic waist and it's a functional elastic waist. It kind of has that paper bag type feel waist, if you know what I'm talking about. This is called the All Over Print Elastic Waist Midi Skirt Plus. That's a mouthful, you know there. <laughs> and it is definitely a midi. When I tried it on, it hit me like right mid-calf, and I'm 5'7", five 5'8", five if I stood up straight, I guess, I don't know. Um, I'm definitely shrinking, I'm an old woman. Um, but I really like it. Now, it is a bit thin to me, not gonna lie, but I think that's good for like a summer weight. Um, I love the all over sort of polka dot print, but they're not like perfectly round polka dots. They're not like all the same size polka dot, and so I almost liken it to think of like a snowstorm if that if that were a polka dot pattern. I don't know if it is, but hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> um, this skirt is a 4X as well, um, and I am generally much bigger on the bottom, and so I was a little like, okay, wasn't sure <laughs> what I should get on the bottom. Um, but it is from that Shein Curve line as well, and it is a 4X. This is, I think, again, just because the cut, it's definitely cut like an A-line skirt. It is a little big. It's a little big on my waist. Again, my waist seems to be like my tiniest part. I was trying to draw an hourglass, and that didn't make any sense to anybody. Um, <laughs> but um, I'm still going to wear, I think, you know, if it was that big of a deal, I could always take it in a little bit or like stick a pin in it, as my mom would say. But I do really like this. Again, this is like a polyester. I think it's probably all poly. Um, I do think it has really good construction though, and I kind of can tell that because it has this beautiful sort of rolled, surged hem. Um, would it be the best if it was had a little bit of lining? Absolutely, but um, for the price, I think that's okay, uh, again. I don't know, I haven't bought like retail in so long, I don't even know. This skirt was normally priced at $16 and I got it for $14.66. So, I'm hoping it's a good deal. I've already thought of a bunch of outfits I can wear with this and I think you can dress it up or dress it down, which is always a good thing. I also, <laughs> when I was trying it on, I also pulled it up and I think if you were really daring, 
you can make it into a dress. If you're interested in seeing me do that, then um, just let me know, either a comment or thumbs up or whatever. <laughs> um, because I, I did try and I put a little belt with it and I thought it looked really cute. So I don't know, another option for a skirt, maybe. All right, last but not least is a skirt, another skirt <laughs> that I got. This one happened to come with a belt, just a little black belt here. Um, not a fan of this belt, not gonna lie. Um, it's a bit flimsy, we'll say that. Um, and I, it just, I don't know, I feel disconnected from the skirt when I look at this belt. So, I don't know. Will I keep it? Yeah. Um, I probably won't wear it, but I, I probably won't wear it with a skirt. That's what I should have said. Um, I'll probably pair it with something else, but just not this skirt. And I'll show you why. This is a skirt I got, and to me, to me this just screamed summer. It's like a light greenish yellow background, and it has these beautiful, what I'm gonna consider just wildflowers. Again, not a botanist. They kinda look like irises and maybe some tiger lilies and some other stuff, but Again, I have no idea. <laughs> I am not good with floral prints at all. Um, but I just really liked it. I thought it was really pretty on the website. And again, I had some outfit inspiration that I was trying to pull um, and get some skirts to fulfill. Um, it's again, elastic waist. As I said, this one came with that belt. So it does kind of have two little belt loops here. It was also priced at $16 and I got it for $14.66. Um, the ruffle part, I'm guessing, is what they're talking about. This bottom part here, it's almost like a two-tier kind of look if, you, if you're if you kind of uh, used to that. Or like a, a prairie skirt. That's what it reminds me of, a prairie skirt. Um, again, you kind of have a nice finish, a nice serge rolled hem. So, I... I like the skirt. I'm not too crazy about the pattern now that I have it home, but um, I don't know. I, I don't really know. Um, this one I don't think would make a good dress just because of that second like tear. Um, but I think for a skirt, it's cute. Will I find something to wear it with? Yes. I don't know. I think I was just a little bit disappointed in the pattern when I actually saw it. Um, I, again, I don't know. I'm conflicted. What do you guys think? Okay, everyone, that was it for my Shein haul. Just a few closing thoughts. I had um, a few things that I really liked. Um, I thought it was really easy to, easy to shop on their site. Um, everything came packaged really well. Um, I can show you. All of the clothing came in these really nice um, plastic bags and they were all folded really really nice um, I'm definitely going to reuse these bags they have that really nice sort of close cl zip closure uh, really nice really well packaged um, nothing had like a really I don't know sometimes you can get clothes and you know they kind of smell like a little off none of that um, again, was really happy with everything except for that last skirt, and that's more so on me. It was a little too big. Again, it was a 4X just like the other things that I bought. So I don't know if, again, the, just the construction, the way it looked on me, it was a little too big. And then something about the print I wasn't crazy about. So considering uh, returning that one. One thing I do love, again, about Shein is that their return policy is literally like their whole procedure is outlined on a slip that you're given when you order. And they also had like a little brochure. I can't find it right now. Uh, but they also had like a little brochure that like explained returns. And so I think that's super helpful, especially, you know, a lot of people are buying online nowadays. If you can expedite that process or make it super easy for, for them, that's like super good customer service. So that I have uh, definitely all pros to say for them. 
like I said, the only cons I have are really just more applicable to like me and my taste and my style. So nothing on them. Um, I probably will shop with them again just because I have had a good experience. I probably will wait for coupons or other kinds of sales. But um, overall, I was really happy with this haul and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys think. If you did like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, if you'd like to see more videos like this, you can go ahead and subscribe and become part of the Penny Pinching family. And with that, I will go ahead and say goodbye and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.